Hi there, everybody, and welcome back to Big Purple Couch. You might recognize this shining young figure right beside me as pretty Ricky Liorti. Now, you may already know him as sort of a campus celebrity, but you might know him in the future pretty soon, actually, as a celebrity, be it reality or just for the simple fact that he's pretty Ricky Liorti. How are you? Thank welcome you for joining us. Thank you for having me. I'm, uh, I'm doing pretty good today, actually. I'm a little tired from uh, last night Jim Bob's, but yes. I'm doing all right today. So you're a very busy man? I guess you could say that. I think yeah. so. Now, let's just start off with some of the uh, first things on your roster that people might have seen you. Um, and that was a little show on Much Music called Love Court. Tell us a little bit about that. Um, okay, that was about two summers ago, and uh, I was in touch with Much Music for uh, being a DJ and stuff, and that fell through, so the guy called me one day, he's like, hey, we got a new show coming up, do you want to, um, do you want to be on it? Yeah, sure, what's it about? Uh, you know, it's a blind dating show, and uh, I think you'd be good for me. Sure, why not? So they bring you in for an interview, ask you, like, what kind of girls you're interested in, like, tan, pale, blonde, brunette, like, European looking, like, Canadian looking, you know, everything, and then... Two weeks later, there was in the limo picking up this girl to go on a blind date. So, yeah, and this girl, she was also named Winna Peggy, so I'm sure you got that uh, <laughs> yeah, was, uh, Brazilian S tan uh, beauty, eh? <laughs> yeah, they didn't quite give me exactly what I described, but uh, good it time. turned out to be a fun time. Yeah. Yes, very good. Uh, so, Ricky, I gotta ask about almost like the entree of why you're sitting here today. Uh, I've heard lots, and I don't know tons, but Lakeshore, this the show of all shows. The Not show. only have we heard lots, we've seen lots. We've seen lots. And I want to know, because I've heard, what I have heard about is the audition process. How this whole thing came to be and uh, how you guys got selected. Can you tell us a little bit about what actually went down for you to be one of the Lake Shaw cast crew? Um, they held these auditions at the, this club downtown Toronto. And me and one of my buddies were bored and they were like, hey, let's just go. So we showed up, got our numbers. And like everyone downstairs is trying to impress judges. Like, like doing body shots and all this like fake stuff. I'm like, that's not what like they're looking for. So I like, go into my audition. And they like, it was my turn. So they called me up and they just like started asking me questions. And like ironically, like all the questions they asked me were sexual. So, yeah. <laughs> it turned out to be like my kind of stronger suit. So it, uh, it worked out pretty well. But it, it was a fun time nonetheless. Like I know my buddy who went like they asked him um, what he thought about like the oil spill and uh, wherever the oil spill was at that time. I don't remember which hospital that was, but it was it was a fun time. Like everyone was pretty drunk downstairs, and um, my like it went well. Like I was just yeah. I was standing there natural. I didn't lie about anything. Everything okay, was okay. Yeah. Just, uh, Before we get into the details <laughs> of that audition, how about you tell us a little bit about the show? What it is? Um, the show was based like kind of like a Big Brother meets Jersey Shore in Toronto. Yeah. That's kind of like the, the premises behind it. I think that would be a really great show. I mean, considering the people that we've seen audition, I think it's going to be uh, quite the show. Yeah, it'll definitely take off, just considering it's a Toronto-based show. Like, I think any, like, if they did a Big Brother in Toronto, I think that would take off too. So anything in Toronto with four guys, four girls on TV is bound to be a success. So Now, uh, that famous audition uh, tape, just, we won't get into details. Um, <laughs> How about you tell us, was it true? Were it the things you mentioned highlighted, if you will, true? Aside from the fact you have a great chest and a nice smile, what else is true, Ricky, in that, in that audition? Well, let's just say I didn't lie about anything. Okay. To, to keep it simple, because I don't think I'm allowed to go into much detail about this on a... On this. US Right. Okay, well you said it was Big Brother meets Jersey Shore. Yeah, that was kind of like the whole ideal of it. So, okay, well I'm a, I'm a fan of Jersey Shore personally. I haven't seen too much Big Brother. Finale tonight. Finale is tonight. Yes. Heads up. Shameless plug. Yeah. But I gotta ask, Ricky, so I'm assuming you have, you have some Italian in your, in your ancestry. Uh, to be honest, no. No Italian? Oh yeah, I have Italian in my ancestry, but like, with my show I kind of went more with my Brazilian side. I oh. knew it! You knew it. I knew it. I called it. No, because yeah. I gotta ask. I mean, you have some Italian side there. Yes. So if you had to choose between the characters on Jersey Shore that most you you feel most fit your personality, which character do you think you might be? Choose wisely, you might break some. Yes. Polly. Polly. Yeah. Yes. Hundred <laughs> percent. Good man. Polly is just the best. Like, yeah. He's so funny. Like, he's a relaxed guy. He has a couple tattoos as well. Yeah. It's I fine. Know. Like, 
couple tattoos on her. I actually met Polly D last year, and I, I wish I could tell you about it. I don't remember anything, but I'm sure it was he was a cool guy. When, totally he, when he came to him. London, he went. Yeah, when, uh, when they were at Mansion last right. year. But no, both. Yeah, I, I know that you're also really um, big into promoting. Yes. So how's that going for you? It's not so much promoting; it's more partying. Yes. I don't do this for a living. I kind of just enjoy being out with more people. Partying. I know, a good time yeah. with many people, so. Yeah, many people, because I know a lot of you guys have been getting some inbox messages from Mr. Ricky Lee, already yeah. talking about oh, all the events. Yes, yes. So you know him from that way. So, great things in the future for you, but I know, Grant, you have one proposition for Ricky to do as I throw yes. to the next segment. Well, before we, before you do throw to the next segment, Ricky, uh, you mentioned you said you'd be, you know, if you have to choose Paul E.D. So you kind of got yourself in a bit of a trap there. As Ali throws to the next segment, I want you to give your best rendition of a fist pump that you possibly can. Starting very low, going all the way to the very top. I think that's, I think that's more of a Vinny kind of thing. It is, it is. Well, I think Paul E.D. is more the, oh yeah, t-shirt time, okay. oh yeah. All right. I think that's give me, more give me some of that thing. Give me some of that when I pause or whatever. Okay. okay. <laughs> well, I, your, whenever you're ready, Ricky. All right. I'll start. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on the Big Purple Couch. We have a couple more segments to throw to you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're going to want to stay tuned to those segments, aren't you? T-shirt time. Big time. So thanks again, Ricky, for joining us. Thanks and a lot. enjoy the rest of the show. We have a couple more segments for you guys.